finding a friend. The next morning, it was quieter than usual at the breakfast table. Only the sound of silverware and chewing interrupted the awkward silence. I finished jarring a mess of jam last night. Uh-huh. So that'll need to get delivered into town today. Okay. So what did you and Rolo get up to yesterday? Ah, oh, nothing interesting. Hello? Dit 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 da da da. Calm down. Dit dit da 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 da. No, of course it was the right thing to do. Start gathering, folks. I'll be right there. Are you sure there isn't anything you want to tell me about yesterday? Anything I want to tell you? Not really. We just sort of ran around a bit. Ran's brow furrowed. She knows. She knows, Luca. She let out a long sigh. Her voice was quiet and even. Uh-oh. I have to go. Take care of something. You are to stay in this house for the day. Under no circumstances are you to leave. What? If I am not back by dinner, there's stew in the icebox. Say it. I'll stay here till you get back. Good. An eerie electronic <gasps> sound echoed from Luca's bedroom. Do, 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 do. The walkie-talkie. Hello? Rolo, is that you? Go take off. Please fasten your seatbelts. I always turned it off. Over. Strange. We don't know what it is. It could be our friend trying to communicate with us, but we'll just turn it off anyway. Door. Oh, hello, Roxy. If this is about me uh, accidentally kicking you yesterday, is Rollo here? No. Look at me, Luca. This is serious. Is Rollo here? No, I haven't seen him since yesterday. Rolo did. Oh, Rolo didn't come home last night. What? A pit formed in Luca's stomach. You need to tell her, Rolo. No, Luca. Luca, you need to tell her. Where was the last place you saw him? Uh, we were playing around in Weepwood, and then it was late, and we went home. Weepwood. If he's alive. I'm going to kill that little creep. Is there anything else? Anything that he said? His mouth felt dry. Spill, Luca. No, we were just messing around. Okay, I need to go. Let people know to check the woods. You just stay out of trouble. Go see if he's hiding in the library or something. Luca could feel his heart beating in his throat. Boom, boom, boom. Got to leave the house, but Gran told us not to. We need to go check the library. Howdy, Luca. Hello again, Pete. I'm not Pete, you silly goose. It's Toby. What? Could have fooled me. Well, hey, it's no problemo. The important thing is, we'd love to hear your thoughts. Have we not spoken to this dude? Yeah, I'm getting that impression. We're all part of something special, Luca. And it all starts right here in Beacon Pines. I got Toby it. He looked up from the clipboard excitedly. He looks like Pete. That's right. So how about you start by telling me? Look, no offense, but I've got my own stuff to take care of. Go on, Joker. We're all a part of this together. You let us know when you're free to answer a few questions. What's this about a missing child? I must stress that the situation is completely under control. It just all seems so terrible. And you're sure there's nothing we can do to help. Nonsense, young Mr. Cotter will turn up safe and sound, I am certain. You just focus on settling in. I trust my sister has supplied you with suitable lodging. Oh yes, Miss Valentine has been more than accommodating. We were just telling our daughter Beck that... We're bored listening. Hello. Now, where does she run off to? Last chance diner. Was a diner up here? Let's go have a look at the diner. What's this? I'm sure Rollo will be fine. It's missing, it's missing. Whether it's five minutes or ten minutes, it won't matter. Hey Dawn. Yawn. Is it true about Rolo? Yeah, he didn't come home last night. <laughs> Sounds like Beaker from the Muppets. 
I wonder if it's connected. Connected to what? I was checking in on reports about increased activity around town. What sort of activity? Windowless trucks, mechanical noises, strange lights. Your typical shady stuff. Who would be doing all that and why? Well, I have a few leads. Valentine family is always suspicious. Perennial Harvest certainly has the resources. Do you have any idea where Rolo could be? The best place to start looking is where the trail went cold. Where did you see him last? We were in Weep Wood. Right, by Valentine's fertilizer. I'll check out Weep Wood when my shift ends. I do my best work at night. Is she a bat? It's Dawn a bat? I think Dawn's a bat. Hmm, I guess Mrs. Fratelli is getting ready for the festival. He's not in here with Chet. Rolo is not here. The entire top level of the library was devoted to comics, most of which were Hank Atomic and the myriad of lesser revered spin-offs. Valley Seashore's simple succulent sundries. I'm not sure I'd, I'd buy into that recipe book. Succulent sundries. I think I'll give that a hard pass. Luca brushed off a smudge of dust. Or maybe it was flour. flour. 30 recipes so easy you'll doubt it's even edible. Yay! We ooh, look, I could do with the burger. I'm actually quite hungry now. Got a charm. It's worth it. It's worth checking around for everything. You never know when you'll get a cheeky charm. Otto volunteered at the library during the summers. He wasn't very social, so he'd dedicate each summer to becoming an expert in a single subject making him a reliable source of very particular knowledge. If you were to ask Kato something he didn't know, he'd escape into the dusty old bookshelves and return with just the right thing. Hey, Kato. Kato was lost in his reading. Luca crooked his neck to see the title. Introduction to Melatology. Ahem. <laughs> Kato's a penguin. Oh, hey, Luca. You snuck up on me. Good book? I don't know, just started it. Gestured to the shelves. I'm really running out of books I haven't read yet. So now it's on to the wonderful world of bees. Turns out bees are pretty cool. For instance, did you know that around 70% of bee species actually live in underground tunnels? Is that true? Or that if there are two queens in a hive, they will fight to the death for supremacy. Right, that could be a handy charm. That's interesting, but you haven't seen Rolo around recently, have you? Not since yesterday. Keep an eye out for him, okay? Sure thing. If I see him, you'll be the first to know. What sort of monster puts candy behind a locked door? Oh yeah, Mr. Nuncreed works weird hours sometimes. Of course he does. How about you? When do I work? No. What's your name? Luca Van Horn. You new here? Yep, not Best by choice. Moved often, giving her little time to establish any real connections. She would tell you she prefers it that way. I'm looking for my friend Rolo. He didn't come home last night. So he's missing? Guess so. Like, missing, missing? Does that sort of thing happen a lot around Luca here? Shifted his feet oh, he's thinking about his mum. Well, that sucks. Yeah. So, I should probably get going. Hey, wait up. What? Beck pulled a coin from her pocket. Coming with you. What? So says the unlucky penny. Unlucky? Well, technically, it landed on heads. Leave this kid to find his friend alone. But I always do the opposite. Oh, that's kind of like me and Rolo. I guess Rolo is my unlucky penny. That settles it. A person should never be without their unlucky penny. Let's go find him. The name's Beck. Pleasure to meet you, Beck. I suppose I could use some help. Try to keep up. 
I've made a friend. They've barricaded it now. Dang, they boarded up the way in. That's alright, we'll go around the back. Oh, now we've got green gunk. Luca felt a chill as he approached Beck. Oh, there's a connection between Luca and Beck. He's got chills. They're multiplying. Is it that kind of chill? Her eyes were locked on the strange green liquid. The nearby grass was coated in a fine layer of frost. Uh, is this sort of thing normal around here? Because puddles of glowing ooze are definitely not what I expected from this place. I have no idea what that stuff is. Well, the next obvious step is science. And what does science suggest? Poke it with a stick. Luca which I just happened to have. Dipped a broken tree branch into the goo. Beck's eyes widened as flowers grew from the dead wood. First small buds, which quickly bloomed into vibrant petals. What the? Oh. As quickly as they had grown, the flowers began to shrivel and turn gray. Beck uh -oh. the stick with a grunt of disgust. Okay. So the science tells us this gunk is weird as hell. Uh, yeah. It seems dangerous. I hear the bullies. Hey, Tish, look what the cat dragged in. Yep. I don't have time for this right now, Iggy. Ah, oh, it does say things like that. It hurts Tish's feelings. Ain't that right, Tish? Tish only says yup. Looks fine to me. Why, hello. I don't think I've been properly introduced. Iggy's the name. This is my compatriot, Tish. Yup. Probably heard of us. Can't say I have. I'll forgive you just this once on account of you being new around here. Why would you hang out with this dud? Oh, he seems pretty alright. Iggy, why do you have to be so you? Has he even told you that his parents skipped out on him? Iggy is not nice. Shut up. It's true. They got tired of having such a pathetic kid and left him. Iggy, I'm only going to say this one time. Don't talk about my family. Ha ha ha, well look who's grown a backbone now that a girl's around. First his pops croaked, then his mum finally couldn't take it anymore and bounced. Iggy took a step towards Luca, his sneer lit by the glowing puddle. Beck could see tears welling in Luca's eyes, his fists clenched. Some things about Beacon Pines were very different from the city, but a bully from a hayseed town is really no different from a city bully. Yeah, bully's a bully. Beck took a deep breath and thought. Well, time to bust out the... Tickles or the strange? We tickle him. Let's tickle him. Well, time to bust out the tickles. Hey Tish, want to see something cool? Yep. Check it. Beck lunged forward and began to tickle under Tish's arms. <laughs> what the? Tish, is she tickling you? Yep. Hey up. Hi up. Tears began to form in Tish's eyes as she gasped for breath between gales of laughter. Beck redoubled her efforts until Tish finally had had enough. How difficult must it be to tickle a rhino? Tish is off. What just happened? She seems nice. Sorry for the interruption. I think you were just threatening us. Iggy's eyes darted around, a realization dawning on his face that he was now outnumbered. I just remembered. I have somewhere to be. Hmm. See you around, new kid. Iggy kicked at the puddle before making his escape. Whoa. Oh, it's gone on, Beck. What a little creep. Uh, Beck, I think you got a little ooze in your she hair. She ooze out of her hair as best as she could. Is it bad? <gasps> her hair's dying. It's gone grey. Depends. What are your feelings about having a more mature, refined look? Oh, God. Given Chapter Beck, four. grey hair. Something wrong with grey hair. 
shows you've distinguished. Earned those stripes. This is where I'm ending today's video. Thanks for watching. Hit like while you're here, pop me a comment down below and sub if you've yet to do so. Check out my other videos. There will be something there that you enjoy. Until next time, ciao for now.